Welcome to our new cosmic quiz. You'll hear incredible space facts and your task will be to guess whether it's true or myth or answer a question. Are you ready? Let's get started. The surface of Venus has always been deserted. Myth or fact? Myth. Venus most likely used to be covered with oceans, from 30 to 1,000 feet deep. Also, some water was locked in the soil of the planet. On top of that, Venus had stable temperatures of 68 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which, you have to admit, was quite pleasant and not that different from the temperatures on Earth nowadays. So, what I'm getting at is that for 3 billion years, right until something irrevocable happened 700 million years ago, Venus could have been habitable. But now, it's not. The Moon is the second brightest object in our sky. Myth or fact? Fact. At the same time, among other astronomical bodies, it's one of the dimmest and least reflective. Our natural satellite only seems bright because it's so close to Earth. For comparison, our planet looks much brighter when you look at it from space. It's because clouds, ice, and snow reflect way more light than most types of rock. Triton, Neptune's moon, is covered with quartz. Myth or fact? Myth. Triton, Neptune's moon, has all its surface covered with several layers of ice. If this satellite replaced our current moon, the night sky would get seven times brighter. Neutron stars are some of the smallest, yet most massive objects in space. They're usually about 12 miles in diameter, but are several times heavier than the sun. Do you think their weight is a myth or a fact? Fact. And they also spin about 600 times per second, far faster than your average figure skater. Venus is the least dense planet in the solar system. Myth or fact? Myth. It has one-eighth the average Earth's density. And still, because of its large volume, the planet is 95 times more massive than Earth. The surface of the Moon is all smooth and pale. Myth or fact? Myth. A transient lunar phenomenon is one of the most enigmatic things happening on the Moon. It's a short-lived light, color, or some other change on the satellite surface. Most commonly, it's random flashes of light. Astronomers have been observing this phenomenon since the 1950s. They've noticed that the flashes occur randomly. Sometimes they can happen several times a week. After that, they disappear for several months. Some of them don't last longer than a couple of minutes. But there have been those that continued for hours. By the way, what year did Apollo 11 land on the Moon? In 1969, a curious mystery happened just one day before the landing. One of the mission participants noticed that one part of the lunar surface was more illuminated than the surrounding landscape. It looked as if that area had a kind of fluorescence to it. Unfortunately, it's still unclear if this phenomenon was connected with the mysterious lunar flashes. There is enough space trash orbiting the Earth to destroy a spaceship. Myth or fact? Fact! Trash isn't just a problem in Earth's oceans, cities, and forests. There is a thing called space junk, which is any human-made object that's been left in space and now serves no purpose. There's also natural debris from meteoroids and other cosmic objects. There are currently over 500,000 pieces of space debris orbiting the Earth at speeds high enough to cause significant damage if they were to collide with a spacecraft or satellite. Over 99% of all the mass in the solar system is the mass of the Sun. Myth or fact? Unbelievable, but fact. NASA does its best to track every single object to ensure that missions outside Earth can reach their destination safely. Our Sun is insanely massive. Want some proof? 
99.86% of all the mass in the solar system is the mass of the Sun, in particular, the hydrogen and helium it's made of. The remaining 0.14% is mostly the mass of the solar system's eight planets. The Sun's temperature is hotter than the surface of a star. Do you think it's a myth or a fact? Fact. The surface temperature reaches 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, but the upper atmosphere heats up to millions of degrees. If someone could dig a tunnel straight into the center of the planet and out the opposite side, and you were adventurous enough to jump into it, it would take you five hours to fall to the other end. Myth or fact? Myth. In fact, it would take you 42 minutes only. You'd speed up as you fell, reaching maximum speed by the time you reached Earth's core. After the halfway point, you would then fall upwards, getting slower and slower. By the time you reach the opposite surface, your speed would be back to zero. Unless you managed to climb out of the hole, you'd immediately start falling again, back down or up to the other side of the planet. This trip would go on forever, all thanks to the weird effects of gravity. A might be a fun way to spend an afternoon. Lunar craters might contain unknown metals. Myth or fact? Fact! There might be more metals, for example, titanium or iron, in lunar craters than astronomers used to think. The main problem with this finding? It contradicts the main theory about how the Moon was formed. That theory says that Earth's natural satellite was spun off from our planet after a collision with a massive space object. But then, why does Earth's metal-poor crust have much less iron oxide than the Moon's? It might mean the Moon was formed from the material lying much deeper inside our planet. Or these metals could have appeared when the molten lunar surface was slowly cooling down. Or maybe, as they've been saying for centuries, it's made of green cheese. Earth may have been a different color before it became blue and green. Can you guess what color? Purple. One scientist has a theory that a substance existed in ancient microbes before chlorophyll, that thing that makes plants green, evolved on Earth. This substance reflected sunlight in red and violet colors, which combined to make purple. If true, the young Earth may have been teeming with strange purple-colored critters before all the green stuff appeared. The highest mountain in the solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. It's three times as high as Mount Everest, the Earth's highest mountain above sea level. If you were standing on top of Olympus Mons, you wouldn't understand you were standing on a mountain. Its slopes would be hidden by the planet's curvature. Astronomers have found a massive reservoir of water in space, the largest ever detected. Do you think it's a myth or a fact? Fact. Too bad it's also the farthest, 12 billion light years away from us. The water vapor cloud holds 140 trillion times as much water as all the Earth's oceans combined. What are we supposed to do with that information? One day on Venus is equal to one day on Earth. Myth or fact? Myth. Venus spins at its own unhurried pace. A full rotation takes 243 Earth days, and it takes the planet a bit less than 225 Earth days to go all the way around the Sun. It means a day on Venus is longer than a year. There's very little seismic activity going on inside the Moon. Yet many moonquakes, caused by our planet's gravitational pull, sometimes happen several miles below the surface. After that, tiny cracks and fissures appear in the satellite surface, and gases escape through them. Hey, they sometimes escape from me, too. Saturn is the last of the inner planets, which are also called terrestrial, since they're made up of rocks and metals. Myth or true? Myth. In fact, it's Mars. The red planet has a core made mostly of iron, nickel, and sulfur. It's between 900 and 1200 miles across. The core doesn't move. That's why Mars lacks a planet-wide magnetic field. 
The weak magnetic field it has is just 1 100th percent of the Earth's. The Moon is 500,000 years old. Myth or true? Myth. It's way older. It took 100 million years for our natural satellite to appear. There are several theories as to how the Moon came into existence, but the prevailing one is the fission theory. Somebody went fishing and caught the moon? Actually, no. The fission theory proposes that the moon was formed when an object collided with Earth, sending particles flying above. Gravity pulled the particles together, and the moon was created. It eventually settled down on the Earth's ecliptic plane, which is the path that the moon orbits. So, looks like the green cheese is off the table now. The largest single living thing on Earth turns out to be a mushroom in Oregon. Myth or true? True. This enormous honey mushroom lives in Malheur National Forest and covers an area of 3.7 square miles. It could be as much as 8,500 years old. You could be forgiven for missing it, though, since most of it's hidden underground. When the roots of individual honey mushrooms meet, they can fuse together to become a single fungus, which explains how this one got so big. If you could gather all that mushrooming stuff into one big ball, it could weigh as much as 35,000 tons. That's about as heavy as 200 gray whales. Hey, that's a whale of a mushroom. <laughs> What's the name of the largest asteroid in the solar system? Our largest asteroid is called Vesta, and it's so big that it's sometimes even called a dwarf planet. A trip to the nearest star apart from the Sun would take you 5 million years on a commercial airplane. Myth or fact? Fact! That's what I call a long haul flight. Okay, the next one is tricky. Why does space appear black? Space isn't supposed to be black. There are stars everywhere. Shouldn't they light up everything around? Well, you don't see stars wherever you look because some of them haven't existed long enough for their light to reach Earth. A day on Uranus is twice shorter than on Earth. Myth or fact? Myth. A day on Uranus lasts 17 hours, 14 minutes, and 24 seconds. But get this, the planet has a tilt of around 98 degrees, and that makes a season on the gas giant last 21 Earth years. Earth used to have two moons. Myth or fact? This issue is still being debated. Now, some scientists believe that our planet used to have an additional satellite. According to their research, a small celestial body about 750 miles wide orbited Earth like a second moon. It most likely crashed into our main satellite later on. Such a collision could explain why the two sides of the moon look so different from each other, one being heavily cratered and rough. Or it could be the green cheese. Let's face it, as stars go, our sun is actually, well, pretty boring. Come on, there's nothing unusual about it. There are millions of similar yellow dwarfs in the universe. And yet, we love it. After all, it's the only star we have, and it gives us life. However, it wasn't always like that. Once upon a time, the sun had a twin, possibly an evil one. Myth or fact? Fact. Almost certainly the sun had a twin. What's the second name for a giant molecular cloud? Dark nebulae. Here, there are many interstellar clumps full of gas, dust, and piles of stars. These clouds have no clear boundaries and often take weird, crazy forms. You can even see some of them with the naked eye. Look at the clear sky at night. They look like dark spots all across the bright Milky Way where our sun was born about four and a half billion years ago. Myth or truth? Truth. 
truth. The sun originated from one of these molecular clouds. Billions of years ago, waves of energy were passing by here. They collected all this material and compressed these clumps into dense nuclei. That's when a protostar was born. This young protostar was a ball of lukewarm hydrogen and helium. And then, millions of years later, the temperature and pressure inside the balls increased. As a result, a star was born. The Sun. But not everything in this molecular cloud has turned into the Sun. The remaining materials began to revolve around the new star. What did these leftovers turn into? they gradually turned into planets, including our Earth. This is how our solar system was created. But it's quite possible that this is not the whole story, and that at the same time, along with our star, another one was born. The lost twin of the Sun, made from the same materials under the same conditions. But why do we think that it exists? Well, recently, scientists have launched some statistical models to find out more about the birth of stars. And these models have shown that many stars appear not individually, but in clusters. Or at least with one sibling. Myth or fact? Fact. After more research, scientists confirmed that, yep, most stars formed inside molecular clouds are born with a companion. Sometimes these companions stay together. For example, a small star will revolve around a large one. They can even form double, triple, and other star systems. But the question is, can these star siblings separate for good? Yes, they can. And sometimes, their paths may diverge forever. This probably happened to our sun as well. It could have had a sibling too. Perhaps not even one, but a whole cluster of little brothers and sisters and one bigger twin with a similar mass and other characteristics. According to studies, the Sun's twin may not be as good as it seems. In the 1980s, scientists began to notice a certain pattern in the Earth's history. Approximately every 27 million years, give or take, large-scale extinctions occurred on our planet. Myth or fact? Fact. Every 27 million years in the history of Earth, some kind of catastrophe occurred that changed its biosphere forever, as if something, as scheduled, cyclically, caused them. An astronomer, Richard Muller, suggested that there may be something that caused the events, a certain celestial body. A huge asteroid. Do you think it's a myth or a fact? Myth. According to him, it could be a dwarf star that we can't see because of how dim it is. It could be located about one and a half light years away from us. This star rotates around the Sun in a huge orbit, and it approximately takes a whopping 27 million years for it to finish its orbit. And when it gets closest to the Sun, it starts to cause complete chaos. Well, this hypothetical star was named Nebula. Myth or fact? myth. They called it Nemesis. It's the name of the ancient Greek deity of retribution. What is it taking revenge on us for? No idea. Perhaps it didn't like the fact that, once upon a time, the Sun took away almost all the dust and gas from a molecular cloud. The Sun became a fairly large star, but the twin remained dark and small. Moreover, in the end, it was forced to fly away in the middle of nowhere. Anyone would be annoyed by something like this. Scientists have put forward various hypotheses about what the mysterious nemesis is. Well, whatever it is, its existence isn't particularly pleasant for us. At the moment, we still haven't found any signs of nemesis. Myth or fact? Recent studies have called into question the theory of regular mass extinctions. If you look more into fossil records, you'll notice that these catastrophes occurred rather randomly, rather than on a clear schedule. Now scientists doubt if Nemesis may actually exist. Do you think it's a myth or a fact?
fact. They also say that any star moving in a similar orbit would be very unstable, and it's very unlikely that it could have survived for that long. But despite the lack of clear evidence, Nemesis had become quite famous online. Many articles and news still mention it in different contexts. But let's not forget about something important. Even if Nemesis itself doesn't exist, it doesn't mean that the Sun didn't have a twin. Meanwhile, the real twin of our Sun may be hundreds of light years away from us. Myth or fact? Fact. The question is, can we find the lost twin? Theoretically, we could find it, but that would be quite difficult. To do this, we need to find all the stars similar to our Sun, about the same age, all over the Milky Way galaxy. And even if we make a list of these stars, what's next? We have no way of knowing which one was really the twin of the Sun. So the lost twin will most likely remain lost, and our Sun will remain forever lonely. Ah, oh, what a sad story. But cheer up! For us, it's probably the best. If we had two suns, perhaps the solar system would never have become what it is now. Our planet might not exist at all. And that's it for today. Please leave a comment and tell us how many questions you managed to crack. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're hungry for more amazing facts.